Hey guys, Barbie Figueroa here, and it's Tuesday, so that means I'm doing another blog post. So after you watch this video, make sure to visit www.mybigfatcomeback.com where I'm documenting my comeback again, my journey into, you know, I was going to say weight loss, but it's really my, you know, just my health and fitness journey because um, I'm 42 years old. I've got three kids, and so my priorities have changed a bit um, in the last couple of years. Obviously, yes, I do want to lose weight, but I think that we put too much focus on just what's on the scale, and um, that to me really caused me a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, you know, and, um, and then I came across this really cool picture on the internet, which I posted it on my blog, so that's why I want to make sure that you click on this link at the end of this video that shares, um, you know, uh, how warped and how screwed up our, our body images are, right? Like, you know, we equate, um, uh, that 150 pounds has to look a certain way and, um, you can be 150 pounds of fat or 150 pounds of muscle, you know, but you know, if you calculate a BMI of a, of a, of a, you know, like a bodybuilder, then they're considered obese. So my point of saying that is that, you know, there's just so much information out there and it's just so, you know, so much screwed up, you know, advice and information that sometimes you just got to step away from everything and just, you know, look at what it is that you want, you know, like that's what I had to do, um, in this last, you know, year that I took some just time off to just figure out, you know, exactly what I wanted and what my priorities were. And, um, for me, it's more about, you know, uh, losing fat, you know, and gaining muscle. I'm 42 years old, like I said, and basically, you know, I mean, we're going to, I mean, I, I, I'm not, I mean, I, I hope it doesn't happen to me, but you know, you're supposed to expect, you know, osteoporosis and things like that as you get older as a woman. Um, I don't know that if that's a belief or if that's a fact, but either way, um, building muscle is definitely, I know will help me, um, you know, maintain my, my energy and my posture and, and all that stuff. So that's really more what I'm focused on. Uh, in my twenties, I was more focused on, you know, how good I looked in a, in a bathing suit or whatever. And now it's, more, it, it's a lot deeper than that. Um, and it's a lot more practical than that. Um, if I end up looking great in a bikini, great. But right now that's pretty much my goal, um, to focus on the fat loss. So I've been on my journey again for the past two weeks. And, um, the hardest part for me is kicking the bad eating habits. I mean, it's easy to say, oh, just do a cold turkey. Um, but I think that sometimes you know, I know because I did it. If you cold, if you quit cold turkey and you just give everything up, then slowly but surely, you know, you, there's going to be a party. There's going to be a this. There's going to be a that. And, um, you know, you'll eventually start gaining the weight again, right? So for me, it was it's more about looking at things differently, looking at things more as a lifestyle change rather than just a temporary restriction. Um, I, I just have a different mindset about, um, about, you know, overall my health and my fitness, but it is my priority. I wasn't making it a priority. And so I'm back to making it a priority. Um, and one of the main reasons is because it just makes me feel so much better. And, you know, I told you guys, I'm going to share some stuff with you and I don't want to, I don't want this video to go too long, but there's two things I want to share with you and then a couple of tips that I want to give you um, if you are if you've fallen off track and you you're trying to figure out how to get back on or whatever and then eventually I'm gonna get back into the swing of things and doing my workouts and sharing more stuff you know I, I, I know that as you start to eat better and exercise more you know your energy level goes up and you start feeling better and so you know I'm not I'm not gonna focus so much on getting back on track at some point I know my mindset's gonna change it's like okay I'm back on track this is what I'm doing I'm working now get off your butt do it with me you know uh, but for now I'm just kind of like documenting this whole process and hold on my Mac just went out 
And I don't have my glasses on because um, let me put them on just for a second. What happens is uh, my Mac times out and then the light goes off. But I can't wear my glasses because then there's a horrible glare. So yes, I have four eyes. I wear my glasses. So anyway, um, so there's two two things uh, that um, really really threw me off track, which um, I did a video, it's on my channel, about my sister-in-law passing away. Um, it's going to be a year or two in this October, right? And it was it was a really hard time. And I wasn't, you know, I mean, golly, it, uh, her kids, which are my nephews and my niece and my nephew, I mean, obviously they had it way worse, right? But, um, you know, th what really hit me about my sister-in-law was that she was my age. She was uh, 41 when she passed away, and I'm 42. So for that whole year, I mean, I was just like, oh, my God. I was, I was like, you know, I was... I just got not into a complete depression, but I just was kind of kind of depressed, like you know, like you know, it, it was just a very traumatic experience, especially that you know um, I knew her since high school, and she, you know, we always knew that she could pass away, but we weren't sure. And then when it happened, she she left to kids behind and so as a mother you start to think about those things you know and it's like wow you know like uh, I really have to take care of myself because you just never know you just never know when it's your turn you know and so if I have anything to do with it I have to do something about it um, and then yesterday you know I have a, uh, my son he's eight years old and uh, he's growing up he's my baby and yesterday he asked me I said, Mom, you know, will you still be alive when I'm 30? I was like, wow, let me see, 30. That's uh, it's like 22 years from now. And I'm 42, that means I'd be 64. And I was like, um, I don't know, Papi. I, I just, I really hope I will. He's like, Mommy, then you know what you have to do? And I said, what? And he's like, Mommy, you have to take care of yourself. You know, and it's like... And he's right, you know, so we got to take care of ourselves. And so one of the things that um, has kind of like um, has been a positive thing for me is being aligned with the beach body because, you know, I always all roads lead me back to beach body. I started doing their workouts again and um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm being part of the environment again. And, um, you know, it's, it's, I try to do it completely alone and I wasn't doing that great of a job of it. You know, as a matter of fact, I actually joined the YMCA because I, I needed to not only do my stuff here from, from home, but I, I needed to get into an environment where people were actively exercising. So, so the tips that I wanted to give you is if you've fallen off track and you're just struggling to get back on, um, then you got to do two things, right? The first thing is forgive yourself for falling off track. Forgive yourself for falling off track. And then the second thing is you need to connect to a reason why to get back on board. Connect to a reason of why to get back on board. For me, the reason is I want to be around when my son's 30. I really do. You know, and I don't want to, you know, um, neglect my health, you know, um, because I'm 42 and you just never know. So anyway, so that is what's going on this uh, fine Tuesday. It's about to rain. Uh, we got that summer weather pattern going over here in South Florida. Um, and then I am going to be sharing a couple of other things that I wanted to share with you. Oh, my uh, three-day refresh comes in on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that because that's going to help give me a jump start. Um, so uh, I'll I'll keep you guys posted on um, on what's going on with that. So listen, if you are ready to get back on track and you know that uh, you're you 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 know you need that fresh jump start, 
you know, click on the link below, register, uh, you know, enter your email and register for my blog for all the future updates. And then second thing is, you know, um, look through my blog. We've got some stuff on special right now. If you need uh, a reason or a program to, to get back on board, click on the links on my website and uh, you can, you know, um, learn about the programs that we have on special this month of August. I think it's like Focus T25 and um, 10 Minute Trainer. Um, so just do something. Do something, okay? Uh, Thursday, I think I'm going to I, I may unbox my three-day refresh, but I also really want to talk about um, how to lose the first 10 pounds because I think that the, the hardest thing to do is to get over the first hump, which is getting back on track and getting to a point where you're consistent, and I call it, you know, getting over the hump, um, and uh, that's how I, you know, started back on track as well, and so I'm going to show you what I did the first time to lose the first 10 pounds so make sure to stay tuned for that um, so anyway if you're on my youtube channel go ahead and subscribe and like and uh, if you're watching this on my blog go ahead and leave your comments below have you ever fallen off track are you ready to get back on track do you need help picking a program just click on the links on my website I'm here to help you um, get back on board on your weight loss journey um, so anyway so anyway this has been Barbie Figaro up I'll do a better video next time, I promise. <laughs> I just wanted to put something out there and, um, you know, stay consistent with keeping you posted. So I'll see you in another video. Bye.